Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Panicus Roth, as you more than likely already know, and welcome to The Legend of Grimrock. Now, this is something I have not done on this channel, but I did a full playthrough of it on the previous channel. Um, I'm subscribed to it, you can go watch that. And I've also done a few custom dungeons as well. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be playing a custom dungeon called Faith of the White Keep. Now, this was sent to me specifically for the opportunity to test it. He saw some of my previous videos, and apparently he likes the way I do things. So, with that in mind, he would like me to try it out, see what I think of it, give some feedback to it, and, I guess, have you guys watch it as well. And if, if it turns out well, so be it. Now, he did give me a few instructions for the game. This is supposed to be very very hard um do not jump down pits um traps are designed to hurt you there will never be a case where you need to jump down trap pit you can always get there through a safe passage um and healing crystals can only be used once um and i feel like this is something he added specifically to spite me because if you've ever seen me play this game i will abuse the fuck out of the healing crystals like none other like i will literally find a way to keep everything out of that room and just kind of literally abuse the healing from it. But anyway, with all that out of the way, let's go with Faith of the White Keep. We'll go with normal. Um, we'll create our own characters. And we'll put it on normal. Mainly this because I have no idea what we're going to be getting ourselves into. So, um, I'm going to come up with a quick round of characters. So, I'll be right back. Alright then, so we have the team for us all made up. We have Patty over here who's just a big, healthy strength tank. We have Von Penis Hand the second. He is going to be our evasion tank up in the front lines. He's got evasiveness and natural armor. Then we have I'm Magic Bitch, and he's going to be our fire guy. And then we have Sneaks Real Well, and he's going to be our rogue bow using Minotaur with Headhunter. So let's start the game on uh, no. What did I forget to spend? Oh, I forgot to spin points on this guy. Ah, we're gonna put it into. There we go. Oh, start the game, damn it! What do I keep clicking that keeps fucking me over? All right, there we go. First time playing Grimo. No, we should be fine. All right, so let's kind of look around a little bit. Um, I already feel like there's going to be a secret. Yep, knew it. There had to have been. There's no way. There's no other way out that I could see. So, um, probably should have looked around at least a little bit to for items before I kind of open the floodgates. But doesn't matter. What we got here. We have a poignant potion and another poignant potion. I also have a note and a pastel and mortar. What do we got here on this note? Ten drops is all that is needed to kill an adult man. Do not use too much. These poisons are expensive to make. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, then. With that in mind, we've already got poison. And I already hear a lot of screaming. That's good. It's always good to hear screaming. Not gonna hit that just yet. Alright, so let's throw that on here. Hmm. Alright, so we got Peasant Breaches. Let's put that on him. Yeah. Actually, she's going to need a little bit more. She's got lower base protection, after all. Alright. Uh, we got a spider web up there. Nothing too... Ooh, out there yet. I see you finally awoken. Good. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, you kind of freaked me out a little bit there, guy. Thank you for that. Um, we also got a lot of levers here, which I don't really want to fuck with yet. Turn left to unlock the prison bars. Oh, great. Oh, good. Now well, we got that to deal with. We got a brass key. We got a machete. We also got a skull. And not a damn thing behind that, surprisingly. All right. Let's move him up into the front real quick to get another punch off and yeah there we go new to spell discovered fire I kind of already knew about that we got a broadhead arrow another broadhead arrow fuck it I'll just go ahead and use that we'll put the crudge on her that on him 
It looks like we found that now. Okay, we've got an empty water skin, which I'll put there. And another note. So let's see what we got on this one. If you find this, I will be dead. Watch out for the old man in the second cell on the right. I came too close to the bars and he grabbed me. He now has my key to the pit trap. I think he knows I cannot leave. Okay, I'm not going to move without fucking reading this. Hold on. Okay, good, we got that there. I kind of figured there would be something here. Okay, blah, blah, I think he knows I cannot leave without it. I have not given him any food since he does not seem to suffer from it. It had been two days since I last ate, and I do not know how long I can hold on. I do not know how the siege above me goes, but it must be dire if no one has come to relieve me. I hope somebody comes soon to relieve me, uh, but I doubt it. Jolm, my friend, if you find me, please take care of Sarm and Rosa for me. Tell them I love I was killed in battle, not because I lost a damn key. Hope you live through the siege, my friend. Farewell, Owen. Okay, then. And I hear something like, The fuck is that? That was terrifying. What the fuck was that? It looked like a goddamn ghoul. <sighs> this game's already fucking getting real weird. Yeah, okay. Well, we got this. I mean, I knew there was something here. And there we go. We got a... Throwing blade. That we can use. And there's that. Huh. And that was the button to our cell. Meaning... I don't even know what that means. But it means something. That's where a torch should be. So if you guys can't see anything, I'm very, very sorry about that. I don't have much control over that yet. Also, just about forgot that. Um, we actually should be able to control it now. <sighs> I'm going to take it. Throw it on him. He's going to be our... No! No! Oh. Oh. Oh! Well, that's fucking just goddamn dandy. I didn't even see that. Oh. You know... Alright, awesome name here. Yeah, okay, so yeah. I should probably be paying attention. Oh, great, we already have somebody dead. And he is literally moving really fast, going up and down. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> guy, creator man, guy creator man who made this, uh, that falls a little bit much. I hate to say it. I don't even want to hit that. This guy's already got me really fucking scared. I'm probably not even going to be able to kill this, am I? Let's charge up the fireball. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's death. We might even have to already restart. Yep, that's... <laughs> I knew it. I knew as soon as I fucking stepped on that, it was going to be right in my fucking face. <clears throat> um, the guy did say that the dungeon, this dungeon is supposed to be really, really tough, so... Yeah, yeah, he wasn't kidding on that one. Um, time skip. Alrighty then, so we're back, and I think we're pretty much in the exact same spot that we were before, and we are not going to be dumb again, and then, yeah. Oh, well, good. It's good to know that we can't even see the uh, thing here that drops us out, but, alright, so let's go back down this way, and this is turn left to unlock the prison bars. Turn left. Huh. Anyway, well, we got this button right here. Let's see what it does. I am prepared for a fight. Doesn't look like we're getting the fight that I was hoping for. Oh, this just fucking opens this, doesn't it? Oh, that's... that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go down this way. And we've got these now. Yeah, fucking... I don't even know what the fuck that is. That just really is goddamn weird. Ugh. Ugh. Five bucks, this opens it up. No? Really? Huh. Okay, what about this one? Yeah, it's probably got- it's probably the key. I know it's the, probably the key. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, that's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm just gonna back my ass up on this one. 
Yeah, I can't even... This guy's animations are a little bit off, so it's kind of hard to tell when he's coming onto his square. And it looks like we got him. We got our knife back. We also got an iron key. All right, let's go back down here. We took a moderate amount of damage off that. I keep hearing shit moving, and it's giving me the willies. Just the complete and utter willies. All right. Yeah, the guy out of this room is gone, it seems. Okay, well... Not much in here but a little old knife. Which, you know, I guess is okay. How the hell do we open up this door down here? It's like we're missing a... Okay. I thought that may do something, but it didn't do jack shit. Um... Okay, so since now that we're in this area, there's not much else that we can go to do, but probably explore these rooms here in particular. We're going to have to pay extra special attention to the walls, make sure that we're not skipping over anything. Um, we got one more room over here that we're going to have to search for before I go back, because now that we've got a torch, I can explore just a little bit more thoroughly without too much trouble. Wait a minute hole up there? Huh. Yeah, we're on level 2, the prisons. Well, actually... I... I don't know about that now. Now that I think about it, I have actually no idea. Hmm. Yeah, that's the button that does that. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Else ha oh, pfft. I'm dumb. I am really dumb. All right, and that keeps that from falling out. But we still have that room down there, and I'm really curious about it. And it keeps drawing me back. And I mean, it's got a, it's got a lot of supplies in it. That's the one thing that makes me think that there's got to be something that I'm missing here. Huh. I think I don't think it's anything. Um, I'm actually gonna save real quick. Create new save file. Ass. There we go. And hopefully we don't get fucked on our way up here. Alright, what do we got? Prisons! Oh, that's real fucking descriptive, isn't it? Okay. Hello, statue man. Fuck you. And we got the cellars here. So we got a, a rock. I think I actually did find a... Yeah, I found another rock back in the first level. Um... And that is some stamps that we can't even go to. Um. <coughs> oh, shit. Alright, so let's go down onto the cellars. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we survived the prison in Mr. Ghoulman pretty easily. I don't know if I want to hit that yet. Still explore a little bit more. Huh. Yeah, we got us a free torch, didn't we? Didn't we, George? Alright, so... Really, we've only got these few... We don't have much in this room, actually. Or in these... Rooms. We've pretty much got a few doors we can go into, and... Mr. Sparkly door over there. Is the... What? Nope. Okay, I saw the feet. What do we got here? Huh. Good. Alright, so we'll just break all these things. Hope to get a little bit of supplies. Yeah, because now I can hear their, uh, their jangling over there on the other side. they has got a lot of evasion, too. I like the evasion tank. Um, it's not really very useful if, you know, you're against people who hit really hard and, you know, obviously you got, you're gonna have some issues there. 100% full water skin? Oh, yeah. So, I don't even know what the point of that is, but it is something. And I feel like there's got to be a secret in this room. Yeah, and I hear crap moving on the other side of the walls. Not just the, the pitter pounder or little soldier feet. I hear something far more sinister that I have no idea about. All 
right, well. Yeah, we'll just charge up another magic bolt. And we'll just close that. Our two melee guys in the front really don't hit hard, but they can tank up a fair bit. And that's kind of the point of them anyway. And we'll just punch with you. Close the door. Hit you with the magic, and then there we go. Give you that. We'll put the spear in his offhand so he can still attack from the back. See? Yeah, perfect. Good. Good, good, good. And she kind of needs the protection a little bit more than anybody else. So what do we got here? An empty flask. Goody, goody, goody. Goody, goody, goody. And I see that button back there, too. So I see it. Don't worry. I got it. I know what I'm doing. So it looks like we're going to have to start putting some um, feedy, feedy things on him. We got a knife. We'll put that on you. Doesn't do much damage, but I imagine that you can attack faster with that than you can with the machete. I feel like I shouldn't have hit that yet. I definitely feel like I probably should not have hit that yet. Alright, so what do we got down in this room? Huh. That's odd. That's a key. Hmm. Good to meet you, Odd. Alright, so I guess the last room that we have to go into is Mr. Sparkly. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, he just literally got raped. Huh. Okay. You know, that's... Oh, that's great. Pay up. Really? What are we gonna pay? Oh, this is gay. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. I don't even know what that is. I knew it fucking should have stepped on that little motherfucker. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Alright, so let's go into this room because I definitely don't remember this. We're down to two characters now. Let's throw that on his little body. Ooh, a compass. For what it's worth. And a scroll of Fireburst. The light will show you the way. Oh, good God. These little snots. Alright, I'm gonna fucking die again. Yup. You can't actually dodge their projectiles. You can't dodge projectiles in this game. I mean, you, I mean, you can do that, but... Like, no matter how high your character's evasions are, um, you can't actually, like, mechanically dodge, which is really weird, I realize. There we go. God, please, give me something to not die here. He's probably not going to, but still. Generation, we'll put that on there. Okay, we'll just put that in his inventory. We don't really need him. Just shit, he's dead anyway. <sighs> he wasn't kidding when this was... Nope, I ain't going that way. Fuck it. No, 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 man. You've scared me a little bit too much here now. I've got to be much, 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 much more careful. Than what I normally am. Ooh, another dagger. Ooh, another dagger. Um... Oh, that's fucking great. That's exactly what I wanted to see here. Yeah, now now she's dead, too. God fucking damn it. 